Diphtheria. The diphtheria is an infection which is caused by gram positive bacillus, which is called as Cornibacterium diphtheriae. And this Cornibacterium diphtheriae, the Greek word for the leather, and which means a tough pharyngeal membrane, is formed, and that is the clinical hallmark of this infection. This diphtherial infection may lead to respiratory disease, cutaneous disease, or asymptomatic carrier state. Coming to the epidemiology, the spread, the spread of this diphtheria is airborne that means droplet or via the skin lesions or respiratory secretions. Humans are only the reservoir that means asymptomatic carriers and immunization has minimized the transmission of toxigenic strains of this disease. The high morbidity and mortality is lesser for 15 years of age. That means before the vaccine, that means in pre-vaccine era, there were about 1 lakh cases and after the arrival of vaccine, that means post-vaccine era, they are about 8000 cases. Coming to the clinical manifestations of this disease, the respiratory diphtheria in which there is a sore throat, malaise, cervical lymphadenopathy, low-grade fever and the pharyngeal findings are mild erythema, grey and white exudate which are toxin induced and a pseudomembrane which is the main clinical sign that is the membranous pharyngitis and a bull neck that is strider and respiratory insufficiency is seen which in turn leads to death. It can also cause nasal diphtheria and laryngeal diphtheria. Coming to the cutaneous type of diphtheria, this cutaneous type of diphtheria forms non-healing ulcers and shallow ulcers. So this is the case of respiratory diphtheria in which you can notice the presence of the pharyngeal membrane. This is the early stage of diphtheria in which the membrane is formed on right tonsil as you can see it here. And this is the form of cutaneous diphtheria. Here the skin lesions are formed on the neck. And coming to the systemic manifestations of the diphtheria, these are caused by the dissemination of the toxin which causes myocarditis, peripheral and cranial nerve paralysis and renal failure. And the diagnosis of the diphtheria is mainly upon the clinical manifestations and the epidemiological history. So a culture is taken from the respiratory tract secretions or the cutaneous lesions of this diphtheria and along with the positive culture, the specimen collection is by the throat swab the nasal swab which is taken from the portion of the membrane. Coming to the culture media, it is done on low frills culture media. LX test is for toxin detection and the serials ECG and the cardiac enzymes are also done for the diphtheria and the neurological testing. Treatment include antibiotic therapy plus diphtheria antitoxin plus airway management as the respiratory diphtheria is involved. So the airway management is the main step and the antibiotics as it is a bacterial infection the erythromycin 500 mg QID for 14 days procaine penicillin G 3 lakh unit BD intramuscularly and oral penicillin V QID for 14 days and for resistant infections vancomycin and linezolid is used. So this is all about the diphtheria in a nutshell if you like this video do subscribe to my channel and do check on another videos from my channel.